Have you ever wondered why some people never seem to take responsibility for their actions, no matter how harmful they might be? Well, this could be a symptom of narcissistic behavior. Narcissism, a personality trait marked by an inflated sense of self-importance, often goes hand in hand with a unique ability to avoid accountability. You see, when a narcissist's actions cause harm, they have a knack for sidestepping blame, shifting responsibility, and preserving their self-image at all costs. Understanding this behavior is crucial, not only for self-preservation, but also for maintaining healthy relationships. It's about recognizing the signs, the tactics, the subtle manipulations, and learning how to respond effectively. So, if you've ever felt like you're constantly being made the bad guy, or you're always on the defensive, it's time to explore this further. Let's delve into how narcissists masterfully dodge accountability. A narcissist's toolbox is filled with tactics designed to evade accountability. Let's unpack these one by one. First up, we have denial and minimization. Narcissists are masters at dismissing accusations as nothing more than lies or exaggerations. They may even downplay the impact of their actions, making them seem insignificant or unavoidable. Next, we have projection and blaming. Narcissists are experts at flipping the script, projecting their own flaws and behaviors onto others. They are quick to lay blame, painting themselves as the victim of someone else's actions or circumstances. The third tactic is gaslighting and distorting reality. Through manipulation and misdirection, they can twist the narrative, making you question your own perceptions and memories. This gaslighting makes it incredibly difficult to hold them accountable, as reality itself becomes uncertain. Fourth on the list is victimization and guilt trips. Narcissists can play the victim card with finesse, evoking sympathy and manipulating your emotions. Guilt trips are common, implying that holding them accountable will cause them unbearable pain or suffering. Charm and disarming tactics are the fifth tool in their arsenal. Narcissists are often charismatic and persuasive. They can disarm you with apologies, promises to change, or even humor, deflecting focus from the issue at hand and re-establishing their control. Sixth, we have shifting goals and moving targets. Their expectations and demands can constantly shift, making it impossible to ever truly fulfill their needs. This keeps you chasing their approval and prevents any meaningful accountability for past failures. Isolation and controlling information is the seventh tactic. Narcissists often isolate their partners or control access to information, limiting the audience who can witness their true behavior and making it difficult to hold them accountable publicly. Eighth on the list is emotional blackmail and threats. They may resort to emotional blackmail, threatening to withdraw affection, intimacy, or even self-harm if you hold them accountable. This fear can silence any attempts at addressing their actions. Ninth, we have stonewalling and the silent treatment. When confronted, they may shut down completely, refusing to discuss the issue or communicate at all. This passive-aggressive tactic leaves you frustrated and powerless. Finally, they may simply shift the focus. If all else fails, they introduce distractions or divert attention to unrelated issues. This effectively derails any conversation about accountability and allows them to regain control. These tactics not only help them avoid accountability, but also maintain their inflated sense of self-worth. Knowing these tactics is just the first step. How do we deal with such behavior? Well, the first step towards dealing with narcissistic behavior is setting clear boundaries. You need to decide what you will and will not tolerate and communicate this to the narcissist. You have to be firm and consistent and not let their manipulative tactics sway you from your stance. Remember, it's not being mean or selfish. It's about protecting your mental and emotional well-being. Next, it's crucial to seek support from trusted individuals in your life. This could be friends, family, or a professional therapist. Having a strong support network can help you stay grounded and provide you with the strength to deal with the narcissist's behavior. It's essential to remember that you're not alone and there are people who genuinely care about your well-being. 
self-care is another crucial aspect of dealing with narcissistic behavior. This can be anything that helps you relax and rejuvenate. It could be reading a book, going for a walk, meditating, or even just taking a long, relaxing bath. The point is to do something that makes you feel good about yourself and boosts your self-esteem. It's about prioritizing your mental health and well-being over the narcissist's needs and demands. Lastly, it's important to understand that changing a narcissist is not your responsibility. Narcissists are highly resistant to change and it's not your job to fix them. Your responsibility is to yourself to ensure your well-being and happiness. If the narcissist chooses to change, that's their decision and their journey. Dealing with narcissistic behavior can be incredibly challenging, but by setting boundaries, seeking support, focusing on self-care, and understanding that you cannot change the narcissist, you're taking essential steps towards protecting yourself. Remember, you have the right to live a life free from manipulation and emotional abuse. You deserve respect, kindness, and genuine love. It's a challenging journey, but with awareness and support, you can protect your well-being and assert your power. In essence, dealing with narcissistic behavior requires a strong understanding of their avoidance tactics and a commitment to self-care. The journey may seem challenging, but it is important to remember that you are not alone. Narcissists are skilled at denial, minimization, projection, gaslighting, victimization, charming, shifting goals, isolation, emotional blackmail, stonewalling, and shifting focus. But as we've explored, these tactics are nothing more than attempts to deflect blame and maintain control. Dealing with such individuals necessitates setting clear boundaries, seeking support, focusing on self-care, and understanding that changing a narcissist is not your responsibility. These steps are crucial in maintaining your emotional health and well-being. In the face of such behavior, it's imperative to assert your personal power and to protect yourself. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and accountability. Remember, holding a narcissist accountable can be an uphill battle, but your well-being and personal power are worth fighting for.